Okay, I'll catch it tomorrow on time. Third leaven, the leaven of the wrong, the leaven of wrong doctrine. Watch out for the leaven of the wrong doctrine. We, if we have leaven festering, the gospel will not be pure. Do you know we're living in a day now where most preachers are preaching about their personality instead of the gospel? And some are thinking they're preaching the gospel. When it's just about their, it's about their haters hating on them. They're talking about themselves more than they are explaining the scripture. And they, after they finish, everybody starts jumping. They, they're attracting the same people that are personality driven as themselves. They really thought they preached the gospel. They get really excited. <laughs> but, but what's wrong doctrine? See, look, look in Galatians chapter 5, verse 7 to 11. I got more quickly. He says, you ran well. Who what? Who hindered you from obeying the truth? This, watch out who's persuading you. This persuasion does not come from him who calls you. Here it is. They're in a church. They're praising the Lord. But a false teacher came in and persuaded them from the gospel. The devil can come into churches. In case you don't know yet. <laughs> What's this? Watch what Paul says. A little leaven. Leavens. So now, Elder BG, we got all these liberal theologians coming in. First they said, there is no hell. Now they're trying to promote LGBTQI. Eventually, they're going to start accepting bestiality. Because God loves everybody. God is just so much in love. Because we let one little leaven, leaven, Paul said, be careful. Don't let these false teachers come in and contaminate the simplicity of the gospel. Watch verse 10. I have confidence in you in the Lord that you will have no other, but he who troubles you shall bear his judgment. That's an imprecatory prayer, LBG. He said, listen, that one that's troubling you, that one that's trying to move you from the gospel, may judgment come on him. That's how serious Paul took the gospel. He knew the fate of anyone that did not receive Christ. They're destined to hell. He did not want anybody to go to hell. So he, made he, he had this burden to make sure they keep the gospel.